CP&O has been making waves at the Port of Virginia since 2004. A joint partnership between Cooper T. Smith and Ports America, CP&O offers a diverse portfolio of stevedoring services, including brake bolt, container, row row, baggage handling, project cargo, and ship provisions. Now, CP&O and Ceres Marine Terminals have consolidated their stevedoring services under the CP&O brand to further increase efficiency at the Port of Virginia, the nation's most advanced port complex. So now we have three of the major stevedoring companies in the U.S. Uh, operating in Virginia. With that brings a lot of connectivity to customers, both container, brake bulk, crews. This new venture will combine two experienced organizations under one umbrella and help the Port of Virginia turn more ships faster and move more cargo. For the Port of Virginia, it gives options uh, for our customers. It gives stability. We have a lot of experienced staff. We have a lot of equipment. We can pretty much fill any void. On March 2nd, 2022, CPNO entered into a new 10-year stevedore license agreement with the Virginia Port Authority to provide container stevedoring services at Virginia International Gateway in Norfolk International Terminal. Under this agreement, customers at the port will have the choice of using CPNO or Virginia International Terminals. And our current uh, arrangement with the Port of Virginia is something that's good for all of us. It takes us into the future, providing a stability uh, for both Port of Virginia and for CPNO. The addition of Ceres Marine Terminals as a member of CPNO will provide significant benefits to the Port of Virginia, including improved services and higher efficiency and improved equipment utilization to the benefit of its customers. Customer benefits uh, certainly are the ability to provide labor. We have a big stable of equipment and this merger has allowed us to go through and pick the best of the best. And also the connectivity outside of the port where these container ships are coming from Savannah, New York, Baltimore, Houston, and through the three companies that form CPNO, we had that connectivity to the other ports where we need to talk to someone about stow or about hazardous situations. So we had that communication between the ports. The combination of CPNOs and series experience and resources will further CPNO's mission to safely and efficiently serve its customers all while strengthening the Port of Virginia's position as one of the leading container ports in the U.S. Customers uh, rely on relationships, and we've built relationships, all three companies have, over the years, and uh, we're benefiting from that now.